I'm Rachel from Parenting Central and in this video I'm going to be talking about why I think that the Ergo Baby Omni range is hands down the best baby carriers when it comes to forward facing. So in my opinion they are really one of the only baby carriers that really achieve that optimal M positioning even when forward facing. So of course that M positioning is something that we're always looking for for an inward facing carry position but it's much much harder to do when forward facing. So you can see here this carrier is coming all the way up underneath baby's bottom. This supports all the way to the back of those knees and that is how we are getting up into this high position for the knees. So knees are coming up, bottom is going down. What happens though if your baby's legs are down? So if their bottom is actually lifting up higher and their knees are pointing down, I'm just going to wiggle him so he's sort of not in that nice deep seat anymore so that the knees are coming down lower. So I'm not sure if you can see the difference, but I can definitely feel the difference. What this has done is placed most of the weight right here in the middle of my back, because even though this doll only weighs about five kilos, presumably your child that is this size would probably be weighing about 10 kilos. You're gonna have twice the amount of weight pushing right into the middle of your back. Because now the legs are going down, that is going to pitch the weight a little bit further forward compared to when they are all the way supported to the back of the knees. And we give them a little bit of a scooch, so that will bring those knees up. You can see how the back comes back against me, and that pushes the weight in to my core. It keeps them closer to me. Because we've already got the arms and legs coming out, we're just trying to bring as much weight back into you as possible. It's also going to be more comfortable for them, thinking about it in terms of if you were sitting in a comfortable chair where your legs are all the way supported to the back of your knees, compared to sitting on a stool where the weight is really just targeted right in underneath your bottom. So that's why that M positioning is important. And while you probably did catch a little bit of how I actually got their legs up into that position while I was demonstrating that I will go into it a little bit more detail towards the end of this video but now I'm just going to pop a couple of other carriers up on the screen for you just so you can really get that side-by-side -side comparison so we've got the Erga Baby Heirloom which is the next best option when it comes to that M leg positioning followed by a Lilla Baby carrier I have actually seen real babies in this carrier in a little bit better positioning than I can do with my doll and then also the Baby Bjorn one carrier. It looks like it should work. It looks, the carrier's shape looks like you should be able to get that M positioning, but it really just isn't working. I just, that, that seat is actually too soft to support the legs. And this is with really no weight in my doll's legs. These doll's legs are not as heavy as your baby's legs will be. So I don't believe that you will get anywhere near an M positioning with the Baby Bjorn One carrier. But I think the most important thing is if you're looking at the Ergo Baby Omni, even without those sort of bone structure, this is still holding the doll in this position. So it's absolutely gonna be supporting your baby in this optimal M leg positioning, which is really just ideal. And I keep using the word optimal because I just want to be clear that there's nothing wrong with the other baby carriers. It's absolutely perfectly fine, but it's just that this is, if we were going to ask for the best baby carrier for forward facing, well, this would be the best one, but it's not to say that anything else is bad. It's just optimal. Personally, I don't use forward facing often enough to warrant needing this carrier. I feel like you really only use forward facing for a few months. So from about five or six months old when they're big enough to do forward facing and then really up to a year is, is starting to push it because even with all of the optimal adjustments and absolutely everything set up perfectly, you really are still throwing their weight forward. So it's not super comfortable for you. Also, just be very, very aware that if they fall asleep or they seem sleepy, you really do need to be turning them in to face you because it's really important that they are not sleeping in this position because their chin can drop forward onto their chest, which is not safe. So just be very, very aware of that. Also, there are some other carriers that I just like a little bit better because they have a bigger panel. But me personally, I use a carrier for a lot longer. So for me, having a baby carrier with a back carry and, you know, I can use up to two or three or four years of age is more important to me 
personally than an optimal forward facing position. Because at the end of the day, it really is what will work best for you and your baby rather than my opinion based on what works for best for me and mine. So I hope I've given you enough information to make that decision. But if not, please feel free to ask me any questions about the Ergo Baby Omni Carrier or any other baby carriers that you would like to see me review. Just let me know and I'll always see what I can do. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe for more parenting product reviews and have an absolutely wonderful day. Take care.